Do you have a speaker? I'll put on some club music real quick. <laughs> like key up some techno. <laughs> like shot, 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 shot. Welcome back to the Freedom Flames Grilling Channel. I'm Steve. This is Todd. Howdy. We have an exciting show for you today. First of all, that merch we were talking about, well, here it is. Check out the barbecue bayonet, digital meat thermometer, and our new awesomely designed gloves that have the coolest feature on the inside. The mesh. Mesh lining, along with the cotton to protect you and keep you comfortable. Check these out at freedomflames.com for all your patriotic grilling gear needs. Don't forget about the aprons. These are still available. You can get these there as well or find them at Amazon. Follow us on Instagram and of course subscribe and like to YouTube. Yeah. I think that's it. Is that it? Well, well what are we cooking? We're doing some pig shots. Did you say shots? I said shots. Shh. Fill it up. Shots, yes. Shots, 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 We're doing shots. 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 That's shots. what I heard. No? Nope. Not those kind of shots. We're going to do pig shots. Pig shots. What's a pig shot? A pig shot is this. It is pork on pork with some cream cheese filling. And what could go wrong? It's definitely not going to, it's not going to be terrible. I'm starting to notice a theme. Every time we cook, we're cooking with bacon. People like bacon. That's what they want to see. That's what we want to eat. That's the most important part. Each cook has been delicious, so. My kids did say that. They're like, man, oh, you've had four or five videos with bacon. All right, next time, no bacon. But in Why? this case, no. bacon. I love bacon. It's, this is going to be so great. so good. The ultimate barbecue accessory, as you said at one point. That is true. I wasn't wrong then. I'm not wrong now. So yeah. let's get to uh, let's get to going on these pig shots. So pig shots, they call them that because they look like a shot glass, right? So all it is is you got your sausage. It comes in a big old horseshoe looking thing. <laughs> yeah. Jiggle it around. Slice it into about three quarters of an inch to an inch, you know, chunks like this. Bam. Get a bunch of those, slice it all up. Okay. And then you take your bacon. More that is, bacon. That is thick cut bacon. Steve bought the cheap shit, so it doesn't work all that good, but it's we're gonna make it work. They said 2024, the economy downwards. I don't know, I'm just trying to be prepared, trying to be fiscally responsible, Todd. You should try it. I like good bacon. I don't like <laughs> shitty bacon. <laughs> Whatever, it'll work. So, package of bacon, we're gonna chop that bitch in half. So now we got a shorter strip of bacon. Hey, that was aggressive. Sorry, was it? Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, bad, bad language. <laughs> we're gonna chop the bacon in half. You chop the whole chunk of bacon <laughs> in half. You chop it. All right, so now we've got it in half. All right, so now we have half a strip of bacon and we got uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch sausage chunk. And I want you to wrap it around there. And make a shot glass. And make it like a shot glass. Here's a little toothpick to hold her in place. Boom. All right. So you can use any kind of sausage. This is just smoked sausage. It's already cooked, so you just gotta heat it up again. You can probably use but a hot dog if you want to. You can use a hot dog. Who would do that? I don't know. A, you get fancy. Come on, nobody wants to do a hot dog <laughs> like this. Uh, yeah. Are you gonna make yours? Yeah, I guess I will. That was easy for me to do. I think you're gonna mess this up. Probably. It's early on for you to make. Hey, I will say, uh, you can see we have all these other ones made. Uh, much easier than the onion ring. Oh, for sure. The cheeseburger onion rings. This is way easier. Just wrap it once around, stick that toothpick through. Super easy. Much easier. Look at that. That's all it took. Boom. And then we've got our cream cheese. So, what else is in here? Alex, go ahead and cut to the B-roll. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We have a block of cream cheese, just standard block of cream cheese. We have three quarters of a cup of sharp cheddar. You can use whatever cheese you want, but we like the sharp cheddar. And we diced up some jalapeno. We used two jalapenos for this, so it might be a little spicy. I like it hot. Well, the fire in your beard says you do. <laughs> So All right. squeeze that. We put it in this plastic bag here. My wife, God bless her, she came up with this brilliant plan that I'm sure everybody knows about except me. You put this bag inside out on a cup. So it's in how, the how cup. How big you think it'll be for it falls? In the cup. Oh, geez. You're going to make a mess, Steve. Stop it. I don't know why that's satisfying, but so all right. Satisfying. <laughs> put the bag in the cup, drape it over the sides, you spatula the whole mixture into the, it's just way easier than just a bag by itself, all flaccid. Nobody wants a flaccid bag. Am I right? You're on a roll today. Thanks. I actually appreciate it. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. That's pretty much it. And we today are going to be using our Weber kettle over here. Just charcoal. I put a chunk of hickory on there, but you can use cherry, you can use apple, whatever chunk you want. Could you use a smoker if you wanted to? You could absolutely use a smoker. You get, want to get it to about 275 to 300. And we've been letting some other ones cook on here. You want to take a peek? I think they're about ready. Ooh, they sure are. Oh my. They're not on fire like our last <laughs> bacon experiment. But that's good. If they were, we would be safe. We, yeah, totally safe because, you know, first responders and all. Thanks, Todd's mom. <laughs> Fire safe blankets. Thanks, mom. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get those off and these on. What do you say? We put those on there. Yeah. Is let's do it. Said? That, those off. Those off. And these on. These on. Yeah. Wait a minute. We got a drizzle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sauce. What flavor is this? So we have Kinder's Wing Sauce and Dip Bourbon Peach sounds amazing. Mm. I've not tried this before. It is full, so we're going to give it a shot. So about five minutes prior to the end of your cook. I feel like there's going to be a safety tab on here. Why would you think I wouldn't figure that out? <laughs> I'm mostly dumb, but I'm not that You're doing bad. really good today. I'm impressed. Oh my goodness. You just have no faith in me. It's disappointing. I have a feeling That's Katie feeling. did all of this work. No. So about five minutes before the end of your cook, you're going to drizzle this over the top. You can brush it on, but as you'll see when we pop the lid off here, the, the cheese kind of expands and then volcanoes out the top. So dr brushing it on might be a little difficult. So I recommend a little spout with a drizzle top. Perfect. And when I say five minutes left in your cook, you're going to cook these things for about an hour to 90 minutes. So kind of depends on your desired crispness of your bacon. You like your bacon crispy? Oh yeah. Me too. thank our buddy Gary. He did not appreciate our red wine from our pizza cook. <laughs> so he got us this. I'm going to try and pronounce it. Sorry, Gary, if I screw this up. Napogue? Napogue Castle. This is a single malt Irish whiskey, 14 years old. 14 years. What were you doing 14 years ago, Steve? When was that? <laughs> 2010. Well, it's 2024. Yeah, 2010. I don't, I don't even know. Thank you, Gary. We're just going to go nice and neat here. I think people are going to think we have a drinking problem at some point. No. I think I got more than you. I'm going to give you a little splash. Daryl the dude, I'm sorry if you disagree with our poor portion but this is the fine stuff we want to just sip it yes a little sip of risky so what do you say thanks gary gary thank you happy new year oh it's so smooth 
Oh, that's not even fair. That's, that's like trouble in a bottle. That's really good. It's really good. I highly recommend. Well, it's time to test these Is bad it? boys I don't out. Know. I don't want to burn my mouth off like we did with the, yeah. the what did we, I don't remember. There's several meals that we've had here that we got a little hasty. Yeah, it's fine. Are we going to do it? Yeah. All right. Oh, you can Get taste rid of that, that toothpick. Bourbon that. peach. Bourbon peach barbecue. You were going to eat it with the toothpick, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten worse. What an idiot. Idiot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, shots. Shots! Yeah. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> A little hot, still. But delicious. But really good. You know, all the bacon wrap cooks we're starting to do are kind of starting to blend together like that tastes like bacon yeah and cream cheese That's, and that kinder sauce is really good though mm -hmm. that bourbon peach barbecue that was, that was really good yeah the cream cheese i don't get a ton of cream cheese flavor out of it none at all and definitely no jalapeno that i mean it gives it maybe a little flavor but not a yeah. it's not spicy yeah, at if all. you left the veins and the seeds in you probably get a little bit more kick out of yeah, it yeah we took the veins out seeds out yeah we got kids to feed we can't be Punishing them with well, their. With I the think heat. they'll like it. Yeah. Well, Todd, I think that's another successful cook. Uh, where did we get this recipe from? Let me guess. Meat Church. Nope. How to barbecue right. Nope. Although they all do this. Sam, the cooking guy. Nope. What? I don't know if he maybe has done it. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure he has. Nope. Where'd this one come this from? from? Where was this from? Postal. Barbecue. Hmm. Postal. Like the post like, office. I'm going postal. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't Gosh. do that. Please don't do that. Not a good reference? No. <laughs> like bringing in letters to the mailbox. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's like what you that? meant? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. that. So postal barbecue, he did these. He's got a bunch of views on them. There's a ton of different recipes. They're all very similar, but I, this one was pretty popular so I figured we'd give it a shot yeah doing my homework I, on it I did a search on Instagram and found hundreds of photos hundreds. of people doing this exact recipe yeah perfect appetizer for the Super Bowl coming Ooh, up Super Bowl coming or up. March Madness is right around the corner whatever your sport of choice or gathering of choice is, great appetizer crowd pleaser for sure with the bacon just don't get the cheap bacon I guess don't buy cheap bacon <laughs> You're gonna buy bacon, buy good bacon, for God's sake. <laughs> you cheapo. Sorry. Hey, check out our website, check out uh, Amazon. You can see we got the thermometers now, the barbecue bayonets, as we call them, and our gloves are going on sale soon. And as always, the aprons. Um, Let me see this one. This one's the most popular, the black oh, one. Oh, yeah. They That's are pretty cool. cool. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> It does seem like a bayonet. Super tactical. I could see why we called it the barbecue bayonet. It looks like one. Somebody had some good thinking. It wasn't me. Looks like a knife. That's not a knife. Right? That's not a knife. Here, check yeah, this out. A knife. Oh, it clips on there in the back. Fancy. You can reach. You don't even got to get your fingers in that fire. You keep yourself distant from there. You got a nice, large digital display. Lights up. Instant read within a second or two. Hey, I'm going to have another one of these. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Fantastic. I think right around 20 bucks. Fantastic. Fantastic. Until next well, time, everyone. Do I have to do it again? Yep. Keep the flames of freedom alive in your backyard. Yes. That's like three in a row. You're getting good. Killing it. You're getting good. You screwed up everything else, but you did that really good. Thank you. Yeah.